Today I'm just going to make a quick video about the most recent um, plastic toy cameras that I have purchased. Um, some of them at a reasonable price, some of them at a not so reasonable price, but I ended up getting them anyway. So um, I guess let's start. Um, the first one actually is um, a Diana F Plus. <laughs> Um, I got this together with the action sampler, which unfortunately I forgot to put here upstairs. Um, I got this in a local classified ads, and the reason I got it is because of the flash. <laughs> um, and the next reason is because I, I have an old Diana camera that I received as a gift, but... Um, I really wanted to get the instant pack for that, so when I found an ad about this, so I decided to get it. Um, there you go. And it came with the original lens, which is this. This is a 75 millimeter, but the one that's attached right now is my 38 millimeter, which I got for free from the Lumography website because of my picky points. So that came with the flash and the um the framing mask. If you want to do small square ones or if you want to do panoramic panoramic photos, and the flash came with an adapter like this. So that's that. I don't have my action sampler with me. I it's downstairs. So. And the second one that I got, which was last week, this is more of like a gift to myself um, after that very tiring exhibit, which is still up, by the way. I'm just going to give you a link for that. So, this. <laughs> this is my white Diana Mini. I got it from a local bookstore because they sell some nomography, cam uh, nomography cameras. Um, I was supposed to buy the blue one. But my friends, when they saw the white one, they told me this one's a lot cuter. So there is a film in here right now. And I think um, I shot a video about this. So I'll post that first and then you'll see this video later. So yeah, that's that. Um, it came with a box and a really nice box, by the way, and a book and instruction manual. Um, that's that. And then the third one was um, this one right here. This is a Polaroid frontal sonar one step. So this is, I think, this is a land camera. And this one uses an X. SX70 film, which I am really excited because I really wanted to get the XS17 color, so I decided to buy that. Um, this one came in a box, like a leatherette box, and an instruction manual, which is still intact. Um, when I got this, it has a film in there, but I decided to throw it out because it's empty. So I will hopefully make a review of this one. I got this again in, in a classified ads. And that's that. I haven't tried that one yet. I'm hoping it works. <laughs> and the next two, I just got them today because I was at um I was at Value Village um trying to look for some um plastic shelving for my bedroom because I'm trying to clean up. And I actually got two things. Um, which, by the way, if you go to Value Village, um, I guess depending on where you go, um, I don't know, like the one that's near my place, which is like three minutes away if you walk, um, they actually have more um, AF compact than your SLR, but my friend was able to get an AF range finder, I think, for $4. I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, anyway, so the first thing, first thing that I got is, I know you'll be like, what? Um, is this. <laughs> um, I didn't have my cell phone with me, so I decided to get it anyway, because it looks really nice. And it came with a flash. It's right here. Ah! Um, 
When I look, when I try to search for it, it's actually a special edition prod, Polaroid Pronto, which like, uh, I have one already. But anyway, I ended up getting it. And this one has a, a focus, focusing ring right here. It's not like the other camera where I think it just, uh, yeah. But um, this one also uses XS70. That's why ah, I'm really excited because I don't have the folding XS70 yet. I'm really thinking of getting one. And I'm, I'm re also hoping that this one works. So this one says uh, XS70. Sorry. My, I'm using a different computer right now, so which I find the webcam kind of crappy, but anyway. Um, and this is the flash that comes with it. So you just like, there's a knob here that you can push and pull, and that locks it. And then there's a slot here that can fit there. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway. So I'm hope I'm waiting for my XS70 film in the mail. So and the other one, this is the most interesting one. Um it's kind of broken. Oh not really I guess. Um it's this. It's called Akira 2000. It's a plastic pseudo SLR camera. <laughs> it has a fake lens. As you can see right here, it's just glass, I guess. It says it's um, the it says it's fifty millimeter, and the maximum aperture is six point three, I think, and the minimum is f sixteen. I'm sorry if I'm mixing my terms, but it's broken. It's not attached to here, so I'm going to glue that today. When I got it, there's actually a roll of film, so I'm interested in what it, <laughs> and I expose it because I opened it and then I accidentally pulled this, I got, I don't know what happened, but I thought I broke it, but anyway, but, um, apparently there's a Flickr page about this camera, so I'm really interested in using it, um, just to give you an idea, it's really hard to rewind. I thought I'm going to break this part because it's all plastic. But um, I guess for and and I got this for three dollars at the Value Village, and this is what it looks like inside. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, it looks okay. The shutter sounds really nice though, and I'm not sure where you could change. Um, oh, I. There you go. Um, earlier I can turn this around. But anyway, um, this is where you change your aperture right here. Earlier I can turn this, but I don't know what happened. Oh, there you go. You turn this side right here. So I'll probably make a specific video about this camera. I'm just checking how my new laptop will work and how the webcam will work, but it doesn't really look nice. But it, anyway, um, if it doesn't work, I'll just use my point and shoot camera. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.